Hello everybody, this is a quick video to explain what KCI GitLab is about. This patch adds a .glab .cimo file to the root directory, adds documentation, and also adds a CI slash GitLab .ci folder on the root directory. If you apply this patch and push to any GitLab instance, you should see a pipeline appear in your project. It should work not only uh, on a specific GitLab instance, uh, but uh, on any. For example, here I have gitlab.colab.com, uh, but I'm also working on uh, gitlab.com. So now let's see a specific pipeline. Inside the pipeline, we have stages, and under each stage, we have uh, job. So the first job here, container, builds a Docker container where the other jobs will run with all the prerequisites to run the other jobs. We have check patch, we have smash on different architectures and configurations. We have build docs, building uh, different types of documentation. We have build kernel, also building on uh, different type of architectures and configuration. And we have smash db generate under the cache uh, stage. This is meant to be executed uh, by demand, where it generates a database for uh, this match jobs, uh, and it's cached, so it shouldn't uh, be, you shouldn't uh, be running this on every push. So let's take a look on the artifacts generated build. Build docs generates uh, output of the docs, and build kernel also generates uh, outputs of the uh, config, uh, the kernel that got compiled, and also the modules. Taking a look at the docs, we can check here under uh, this section, job artifacts. We can browse through it and uh, see here the output of the documentation build. So checking here under CI, I get lab CI you should be able to see the generated documentation. Here, we have a quick explanation about your, how to set up. So as I mentioned, things should be working out of the box, uh, just a matter of pushing your code to GitLab repository. But if it doesn't, make sure that you have CI CD enabled on your project settings, and you also have container registry enabled there. In case that you are running, let's say, uh, gitlab.com, where you have a limit on how many minutes you can run on uh, the GitLab, where uh, the shared runners provided by uh, gitlab.com, you can set up a local GitLab runner. What it means is you can configure your computer, register under your project, uh, and have your computer executing the jobs for you. So you won't be using uh, the infrastructure provided by uh, the GitLab instance that you are using. To do that, you go under the settings, CI CD, under runners, you can click here, new project runner, it will uh, generate a token for you. And there is this a nice script where you can uh, use your, your token, point to your GitLab instance, and ex execute this script, and it will um, generate a Docker container, that will be responsible for running the jobs for you. If you're lucky and you are using a GitLab instance where shared runners are available, you can come here and enable shared runners. So under this documentation, you can see uh, an explanation of every job there. And what I want to mention is how to extend uh, the CI using test scenarios. We understand that each Maintainer and subsystem have their own way of testing things. Um, so you can use this to override existing jobs, change configuration, and define new jobs and stages. For instance, if you see here under Linux that slash CI slash GitLab dash CI slash YAML slash scenarios, you can see uh, predefined uh, files like file-systems.yaml, media.yaml, network.yaml. Those are just examples. How this works is under scenarios.yaml, you can see that if 
this variable case scenario is defined, it will include uh, an extra YAML file with the name of the KCI scenarios, which means that uh, using the YAML files, which is how uh, pipelines under GitLab are defined, uh, you can do any kind of configuration. So let's show you an example that's under the documentation. You can create a my scenario.yaml file and override the kernel combinations. Uh, so you can define the architectures that you want to build, the configs that you want to build, and the extra uh, configs that you want to have. And you can define as many combinations as you want. Uh, now, when you push your code again, instead of, uh, and if you set this variable, and you can check how to set this variable uh, in this session, how to set the variables, if you set this variable to my scenario, you will see uh, that the pipeline will change. And uh, here, under the build, you will see that this combination here, it won't be three uh, jobs here anymore. You'll see the two that was defined here. So I'm not going into the details. It was just uh, to show you an overview of the features and how to use it. Uh, but here under the documentation, you can check more information about how to set variables, uh, how uh, the documentation about the variables uh, that are defined that you can uh, change, how to trigger a pipeline from common line, how to debug and replicating jobs locally, a few suggestions, uh, how to use this work. And that's it. Thank you.